Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com. And in this episode of the Automation Minute, I'm going to show you the updated procedure to download a free copy of RS Logics. Now, over the years, Rockwell has moved the place where you download RS Logics Micro Starlight so many times, and none of the old links work. They're all dead. So um, it gets frustrating, but you know, it gives me something to talk about, right? So today, let's take a look at how you do it here in December of 2016. And the first place you want to go is to ab.com. And then I'll redirect you over to ab.rockwellautomation.com. And when you get there, you want to go to compatibility and downloads. Now, again, this may change in the future, but um, I've actually created a procedure that I'm going to keep up to date at theautomationblog.com forward slash MLD from Micrologics Download. So um, so if this procedure is old, then check that uh, check my blog out for the updated procedure. But let's go ahead and click on that right now. And uh, when this page comes up, we want to type in RSLogics Micro, and we want to choose RSLogics Micro Starter Light without RS links, EN. We don't want to choose a ZHE unless you speak Chinese. I don't. So let's go ahead and select that and click on Go. I actually don't even think you need to click on Go. And now we can click on Download. Now from here, this can be a little confusing because this is actually the firmware download page for the 1100, right? And if you click on this first uh, download icon or select files, all you're going to see is firmware, right? So it's cleverly hidden. Down here under 10 or 11, you can either click here under um, on the little graphic or you can click here on the select files. And this is where you're going to find the download. Now, you can see the download right here. RS Logics Micro Starter Light without RS Links. Now, you're going to need RS Links if you want to use the emulator or you want to connect to your Micro Logics 1000 or 1100. And it's a pretty big upload, uh, pretty big download actually, but uh, you got to you got to get it. And um, You'll also notice that you can get a free copy of RS Logix Emulate 500. And you also see that list up here as RS Logix Emulate 500 from Micrologix. What's the difference? They're absolutely the same. The files they download are definitely different. But when you unpack and unzip them, you get the same exact list of files. I just did it. And they're identical. So um, you only have to pick one. And, um, and then you can click on Downloads here. And... Uh, download now. Now, if you have not logged in to Rockwell Automation's website, you'll have to do that now. Though this is a free login. This does not require a support contract. They just want to track who's downloading their free stuff. So you just create yourself your own login. I'm going to go ahead and log in now and I'll fast forward the video to, uh, to after I log in. All right, I've just logged in and I get to this page and here I can accept their user agreement. In mere moments, I'll get a choice of either a managed download or a direct download. Um, I like to use direct download now because my download manager is never up to date and I'm always updating it. So the heck with that. Let's just download it manually. And here you can see I have a link to download Emulate. And then I have a link here to download RS Logix Micro. And finally, a link to download RS Lynx Lite. So you can see. All three of them have downloaded here. Well, links is going to take a while because it's pretty huge. But um, that's it for this episode of the Automation Minute. Now, if you found that helpful and um, you like to learn all about programming the Micrologics, and in turn, by learning the Micrologics, you'll learn the Slick 500 and a lot of the PLC5, then check out my training course over at plc-basics.com. It's averaging well above four and a half out of five stars. Um, I have students in over 45 different countries, and um, I really think it's great if you know anybody who needs to learn how to use PLCs, why not get it for them for a, uh, as a uh, holiday present? And uh, that said, if you want to see more free episodes of the Automation Minute produced and shared on YouTube, then why not become a premium supporter? For $3 a month, you can um, support the show and get $10 worth of free downloads, including... $5 worth of free or five episodes of the Automation Minute every month for as little as $3 a month. And um, finally, if you have a question on anything I did in this episode, 
The best place to ask me is over at theautomationforums.com in the post I've created specifically for this episode. So that's the best place to ask questions to me. Sometimes I get on YouTube, but not as often as going to theautomationforums.com. And with that, that's it for this episode of The Automation Minute. Until next time, peace.